A blessed day to each and everyone. For today, we're going to talk about the essential characteristics of modern school administrators. How are we going to make a successful school leader? What makes a successful school leader? How do one become truly effective as a principal or in a leadership position? While there is no one solution to successful school leadership, there are certain strategies, skills, traits, and beliefs that many of the most effective school leaders share. Here are the following. Number one, they understand the importance of building community. Effective school leaders build and sustain reciprocal family and community partnership and leverage those partnerships to cultivate inclusive, caring, and cultural responsive school communities. So that we can build this network, it is very essential that these school leaders are visible in their school and in the community so that trust will going to be developed and create a sense of transparency and shared purpose with the parents, staff, community members, and students as well. Teachers in return are motivated and willing to try new strategies because they trust leaders that support them. The students also are motivated and connected to the school because they trust their teachers. So it's a reciprocity in return. And the families are supportive as well because the principal and the teachers have built trusting relationship with them. Number two, they empower teachers and cultivate leadership skills. Great school leaders know that they are not running a one-man show, that they cannot do it all alone. They know that they must surround themselves with great teachers and colleagues. Not only that, they must fully support teachers and staff by encouraging them to continually learn, develop, and perhaps the most important is to become leaders within themselves. It is no secret that when people are fulfilled and given opportunity for a career growth as well as an autonomy and control over their careers, they are more productive, more engaged, and more effective overall. There is this research that discovered that around 33% of teachers are engaged in their work while 51% are not engaged. The other 16% are actively disengaged. So these are the statistics that we have at least. So the factor here is to give the opportunity for growth to your people. Number three, they utilize data and sources. Successful leaders use data including the standardized and school-based assessments to drive continuous improvement through site-based decision making for the express purpose of promoting equitable and culturally responsive opportunities for all students. The data had been tested and it had been contributed as the results of what had been partaken on the student's performance. So these are the numbers and the resources that they need to get to be able to make a good change in the school. Number four, they have a vision and a plan. The very best leaders are also visionaries. They have a goal that they can unite a team around and plan to help them get there. Not just that, but they are able to clearly articulate their school vision and goals. Vision is one of the most important qualities of a leader that can have as it provides a momentum and direction, not just for the team leader, but for each and every team member. Of course, in order to become a leader, to be successful in the pursuing a vision and enacting on the plan, one must bear the vision with unrelenting passion. Vision and passion from an effective leader should generate inspiration, motivation, and excitement that permeates throughout the school. And leaders or the school heads create collaborative inclusive learning environments. Inclusive learning provides all students with access to flexible learning choices and effective paths for achieving educational goals in spaces where they experience a sense of belonging. The best educators know this and prioritize inclusivity in creating safe learning environments that nurture every student. 
leaders prioritize inclusive learning also typically because that every person can contribute to greater learning community and therefore they encourage collaboration between faculty as well as students this is a means of collaborative learning number six they are passionate about their work passion is critical for everybody who want to be successful in a job but passion especially is important for school leaders because they will going to influence the school climate and culture passionate people have a contagious energy that can greatly affect teacher satisfaction and drive as well as student performance all the knowledge in the world can make a good leader it's the care for the work and the people who collaborate with you that makes the difference this is in a large part because people want to follow a passionate leader someone who cares about not only the cause for which he or she is working but also the other people who are involved in the effort passion for the projects for the company for the school for the people involved these are the key to a successful leadership number seven they encourage risk taking why most educators already know is that failure can be a greatest teacher just as teachers should encourage risk taking amongst their students in order to spur growth truly effective leaders encourage risk taking amongst their subordinates and colleagues by creating a supportive environment that rewards not just the successful ideas or initiatives but efforts as well no matter what the outcome will be because in the world of nowhere in the world of uncertainty risk is the only factor that can able to motivate us to help us learn the desirable things and unlearn the undesirable things number eight they lead by example a leader leads by example almost always receive respect and admiration without which he or she will find little luck in leadership so we all hear the saying do as i say not as i do of course this is an irony that the action are much more telling than the words leaders who led by example positions themselves as tremendous role models for not only the students in school but for colleagues and parents as well number nine they persevere staying with the school for at least five years this means that they are committed and effective principals who remain in the schools that are associated with improved school-wide student achievement. The principal turnover has more significant negative impact in high poverty, low achieving schools, the very schools in which students most rely on their education for future success. Change, while good, can also be the disruptive when it occurs too frequently. In the case of school leadership, it has been documented that frequent turnover results with a negative school climate, which in turn has negative effect on students' performance. Lastly, they are lifelong learners. So perhaps it's the most important of all qualities that a school leader can possess in the unchangeable thirst for knowledge. As what uh, Jan F. Kennedy said, Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. The best leaders, no matter what industry they work in, know they will never know it all. They are humble in their knowledge, yet confident in their abilities. They're endlessly curious individuals who never stop questioning and learning. So we have this one article about the management and leadership issues. And it's stated here that the leaders to look outward in a more expensive way, where yes, if it is a manager, it was in an inward or in a specific task or a task that needed to be completed. A leaders will going to focus their attention in articulating a vision, while a manager was clearly more focused on executing plans. It is important to note, however, we have to believe that a leaders are needed for optimal effectiveness in the organization. So that's all for today. Thank you so much and see you again next time. Bye!